A Nazi sympathiser who kept nail bombs under his bed has been found guilty of three terrorism offences. With the details and the rest of the day's news, over to Samira. Police were searching for child pornography when they raided Martin Gilliard's East Yorkshire flat. They uncovered ammunition, weapons, the homemade bombs and a large amount of white extremist literature. Darshna Sonny reports. A 31-year-old father preparing for an ethnic war. In his diary, Martin Gilliard wrote of his intentions. I'm so sick and tired of hearing nationalists talk of killing Muslims, of blowing up mosques, of fighting back, only to see these acts of resistance fail to appear. The time has come to stop the talk and start to act. Frustrated by that perceived lack of action, Gilead started to collect dozens of weapons. He made four nail bombs and hid them underneath his bed. Bizarrely, he would make his son son that bed whenever he came to visit. Martin Gilliard was a very dangerous individual and uh, not only did he express his intention to carry out acts of terrorism, he had the capability to do so. Gilliard came to attention by chance. Last October, Humberside police were investigating a tip-off about child pornography, which led to his flat. He wasn't at home, but police found the homemade bombs, extremist literature and on his computer links to racist websites. The forklift truck driver was a paid-up member of several nationalist groups, including the British People's Party. Realising the police were on to him, Gilliard fled to Scotland, leading to a huge manhunt. He was arrested three days later at his brother's house in Dundee. This case has revealed that counter-terrorist units are increasingly having to investigate far-right groups. One senior investigating officer recently warned that the threat posed by white extremists is as damaging to community relations as that posed by Islamists, with racism being used to recruit young men to violent causes. Terrorism in, it, in its rawest form is somebody who possesses those extreme views who then moves on to violence or threats of violence for an ideological or political cause. And that can be equally applicable whether it's to white right-wing extremism or to, uh, or to an Islamist cause. Gilead was convicted of two terrorism offences. He's also pleaded guilty to ten counts of possessing child pornography.